Many Torres Strait School students have begun a successful integration into the maritime industry by gaining nationally accredited coxswain and engineering certificates. Forming part of the Growing Our Own project, the training is the first in a series of projects designed to provide employment pathways for school leavers. The maritime section of the Growing Our Own project is a joint partnership between the Torres Strait Regional Authority, Tagai State College, My Pathway and TAFE North Queensland. The transition from the classroom to the wheelhouse has been a large and exciting step for the students in this video as the Growing Our Own program continues its efforts to enhance the Torres Strait region's wealth and increasing employment opportunities for its people, equivalent to the wider Australian community. Students from grade 11 and 12 have spent time working through task books which has seen them travel the ocean between Cairns and the Torres Strait, gaining vital sea time aboard commercial vessels and helping them identify individual goals and a meaningful pathway to employment. The actual environment and the subject is fairly familiar to all of these young people given the fact that they've grown up uh, in and around their island homes and you know, obviously done schooling for the last number of years on Thursday Island. But I think it's really been a bringing together of a lot of pieces and putting it into a context which represents the expectations of the, the current marine industry and certainly then with the outcomes of those skills Employment opportunities not only in Thursday Island. Uh, there's, there is, a, you know, a number of of operators that are using vessels up to 12 metres, which could certainly be um, subject to gaining employment at because of our national system now and recognition of that skill base that they've um, achieved. Then it allows them also to potentially leave uh, their island home and head back down into mainland Australia um, and also expand on their employment opportunities. It's a cool, cool um, course. It's um, enjoyable, yeah, fun. Got to travel. Ah, so far we've been learning how to use the charts and how to change the injectors, the, blit, the uh, pump, bleed system, the bleeds, uh, geographic mapping too, how to get up and get anywhere and touch shade or going further down south. Oh yeah, like it's, there's new things you learn every day. I say I'm at school, but I find it boring because you're only looking at boards. And you see different things when you pass the boat, learn new things from the captain and the crew member. You learn about the ma markings as well. Yeah, about the beacons, uh, this basic navigation, how to pre-check an engine and stuff like that. When you finally get your coxswains and MED3 tickets, you think you might use them to try and get a job? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna look good on a resume and yeah. shows us we're committed. Well, yeah, the same. It's, it's good on your resume and stuff. We help you more to find a job. What does it mean to you to know that on completion of this course you'll uh, have the skills to get a range of interesting jobs based around the maritime industry? Yeah, it means a lot, you know, because there's, there's a lot of jobs up here because you're surrounded by uh, water, so like ferries or fisheries or even like navy or customs. We took the boat up from Cairns and we learned like how to navigate. Yeah, navigate a safe passage up to TA. Now you've completed the course, uh, what would you say to younger students who are interested in joining the Growing Your Own program? i say like, man, like, if, if the opportunity comes around, take it because it's, oh. it's a good experience. Like, if you want to find a job in that maritime industry, or if you want to, you know, gain experience. Yeah, I was thinking about I'm going on a prom trolling or something. Yeah, and why is that? I just love fishing, prawns, catching prawns, or maybe get a job on the trawlers. 
or tug boats. So you've obviously got a big passion for the sea, and uh, with these tickets, you could sort of put them all together. Yeah. Maybe you work to reef pilots or something. Here is the start of my career here, yeah. um, because you already know you how to how things work on a boat. You know, in brief conversations, sort of at, towards the last couple of days that we were together, we've got um, one young gentleman who is now looking at getting a start with one of the pilot companies on Thursday Island. Another one of the lads is heading out to York Island to increase some sea time to be able to further uh, training uh, back into the maritime industry. And also one of the guys is pretty keen to get across into the Navy. So, you know, I guess uh, where we were to having conversations now about um, employment opportunities, definitely a huge change just in that period of time. So do you want to work in the maritime industry? Yeah. What sort of job do you hope to get? Pilot, roof pilot. So Thomas, uh, you've been successful in getting a job. Where do you work now? Yeah, I work at the roof pilot too. I just do uh, pilot transfer, the thing up to booby and goods. What are some of the things you've learned on this course that you now do in your job with reef pilots? I learned um, how to um, bleed the gen set and change the fuel and pump new on you. So do you like working with reef pilots? Yeah, it's a good job. How does it feel to get a paycheck every week? Pretty good. <laughs> I'm doing nothing at the moment. I'm just at home. Just helping my mum, the siblings. And hopefully I could book with Thomas. With Riff Pilots. It's a good course. If you want to walk on the boat or drive a boat. I just uh, down at the engine room. Engineering. Engineering, uh, check the generators, the engine, if any leaks or any cracks, just check every time before we start the boat. So Seti, you started this course when you were in school, and now you've got a coxswain's ticket, and I hear you've got a job with reef pilots. Yeah. Do you think the reason you got the job was because of what you learnt on this course? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to do more training in the future? Yeah, Master Five. Probably have a boot or something. So, Seti, where are you from? Oh, yeah, I'm from um, Bardo Island. And what have you learned on this course so far? All the different, um, how to do longitude and latitude on the maps, um, the different lights and shapes of the um, boys around. So once you get these maritime tickets in your hand, what do you hope to do with them? I'm driving my boss's boat. He got um, it's like where we put all, all our equipment in, in it and in the kayak industry. Ah uh, no, um, construction. first started they virtually walked out of the, the school gate and into our classroom and there was a, a reality check if you like us I, I suppose to you know coming from school and all of a sudden we were we were structured the same way that we would have a workplace set up in terms of what we were going to do each day and you know commitments around um, being on time and reliability so we expected that right from the first day and I must admit we we got that, you know, we, we become very reliable and I guess to the stage where if you were a prospective employee um, looking at these young people think that we definitely, uh, well they definitely achieve some great results. If you're out on the boat then you understand more, whereas if you read it from a book then you'll probably be lost because you won't get it because we live in the Straits and this could benefit us like look for jobs this stuff anywhere around Australia 
Because we started it last year, then we graduated, <laughs> and we got offered Met 3. And that was your decision to come back and finish the course? Yeah. So you think it's worthwhile completing? Yeah. Yes, it is. And why is that? We can get our tickets. And, and you're going to help Skipper the training boat all the way from Cairns to Thursday Island? Yeah, I'm going down to Cairns and yeah, then yeah. coming back up. And how do you feel about the big five-day steam? Looking forward to it. Have you had much experience on boats at all? Just the tinny dinghy, yeah. So this is a big step moving up to help the Skipper. Yeah. And like Do you think this method of hands-on teaching, actually learning the skills on the water, helped you pass this course? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's better, yeah. Why do you find it that? Because uh, I'm more of a doer. Yeah. Yeah, than sitting in class trying to figure yeah, out what yeah, people. So you find you concentrate more when you do it this way? Yeah, yeah. actually do it, yeah. And what about you, Brian? What job do you hope to get with these tickets? Probably big pilots or and get my own business. Make some money? Yeah. How does it feel to have completed your orals and you now have a coxswain stick? Uh, it's been a big relief. Like, you know, the weight lifted off my shoulders, having to do that. Now I can like, work, on my, work on the boats, like my dad and my, um, my grandfathers did. So obviously you hope to get a job out of this. What job are you hoping for? Uh, make customs or navy. Or just even reef pilots. And why do you want to have a good job like that? I don't know, to, to support my family, like, you know, mum and all that, to support them. Something to be proud of, knowing that I got a good job and all that. Yeah. Well, I think it's a start the kids earlier in thinking about what they're going to do when they grow up and um, if they're going to work in the marine industry, you know, we, we give them the tools for that thing earlier so that when they leave school they've already got some qualifications like a coxswain's ticket or engineer driver's ticket so um, they can apply with those things on their resume. It, it gets them thinking about, you know, work in school and, um, you know, some kids want to take a year off when they leave school and then go to uni or go TAFE or whatever, but these kids can walk into a job as soon as they leave school.